here. We're here with Coach Boars Run after day one of Spring Ball 2011. And, and Coach, just tell us what it's like to finally get back out here for uh, for practice again after last year. Outstanding, outstanding. Really, to get on the field and correct the mistakes that we made, and we know what uh, what we have, what we got to get better. I thought the guys had a tremendous attitude this morning. And now, obviously, you're short a couple of guys, but. Uh, you end up having some guys that get a chance to come out here and get, get a lot of reps. And it, it looks like uh, Kevin Green might be somebody who might be turning the corner. He has to. He has to. He has a lot of talent. He's very fast. He's a big guy that can run. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to get the guys uh, a lot of reps. Nick Perry, uh, George Uku, Deshaun Harris, all those guys are getting good reps for us. It just, it just seems like you, you, you've got things pretty solidified there with the defensive line. Yeah. You know, another year under their yeah. belt and another five weeks here. Just, yeah. just tell us overall your assessment on where they're, where they're well, going to be at here. You never know until the end of the season. Yeah. You know, our expectations are greatness. And uh, you got to achieve greatness. you got to go through a season and be there. It's one step at a time. We've got a long ways to go. It, are, are there things you work on and, and, and things you focus on more different in the spring than they are in the fall? Uh, you know, you focus on the fundamentals. And uh, there should be the fundamentals in the fall, too, to continue on the fundamental. But there's game planning. There's no game planning here. So you can work on their toughness, their condition, and, and the little things you get better at. Now, when we talk about uh, about you, you're, you're not only one of the top recruiters in the nation, but you're, you're one of the top defensive uh, defensive line coaches in the, in, the, in the country. And just as far as recruiting, is, how, how would you assess the recruiting class you brought in? Because we were all amazed yeah. on what well, we were able you know, to accomplish. You, know, <laughs> you got USC, so you should be able to recruit well. We have a great group of recruiters, and uh, you know we're pleased with the guys that we had. Uh, we wish we could have got a couple more always, but uh, you know you never can tell till you get them in and get them in shape, and then you measure that class about two or three years down the road. There was a lot of talk uh, amongst people in Southern California, specifically UCLA fans, that they were going to clobber you guys in recruiting when, you, when yeah. the sanctions were, were imposed. And, yeah. and you guys just, you, you just, what have you, what was, what's the message that you guys have, have been able to to give to these guys to, to get them to keep coming to USC? Well, you know, there's a lot of great things about the University of Southern California, and uh, we went in there with a great message. And uh, it's not about the other team, and never will be. It's about us. We're proud to be at USC. We're proud of the things that we have to offer young men. And, you know, we're good recruiters, so we know what we're doing. After the 2001 season, uh, my dad, Lowell Schrader, wrote an article about how you figured out you had to change maybe the message that you were going to be giving recruits and, and really focus on selling USC the school. That's right. Are you back doing that, or has that always been no, something you've done? Well, it's always been that. You know, it's a private school. An education is worth, uh, scholarships worth about sixty-eight thousand dollars next year. Uh, we got a lot of great things to offer in Los Angeles. Uh, the degree is the most important thing those young men are going to get. You're looking at since 2005, we put more people in the NFL in the draft. We have a lot of guys that have success that are graduating. So, you know, if you want to come to school, you want to get a great degree, play in a great city, win championships. This is the best place. What's your overall outlook here for for the 2011 season? Uh, you know, you, you were so close, yeah. really in 2010 to have yeah. really what I would consider an outstanding season. Yeah. Uh, you, you think maybe with the addition of some of these guys coming in that uh, yeah. it'd make a big difference? I think those guys are going to make a difference, but you and I know at USC close is not good enough. Well, we got to get better this spring. We're working on it one day at a time that we're going to develop these young men. When they get into camp, the seasons are far away. So we got to develop our team first. Can you just, just talk about briefly about some of the defensive you know, the defensive backfield, you know, yeah. guys like like Anthony Brown that are competing yeah. for a spot. And you guys have Birdie back. And yeah. and uh, just yeah. tell us about those guys. Well, we think it's a group that's going to make a lot of improvement in the second year and understanding what we want to do. I think T.J. McDonald's an excellent player. We've got to tackle better and get after the ball better. So we're just going to see. There'll be a lot of guys getting their opportunities. All right. Hey, Coach O, appreciate you taking time out to talk to us.